In today's episode of our Stationeer's Moon Survival Guide, I will be making a furnace and smelting some steel. But first, we have a lingering problem. My uh, CO2 waste tank is getting full, so I actually need to first make another gas canister and I will make sure that I fill that one up. So let me just briefly take out this iron ingot from the auto lathe, put it in our you know, hydraulic pipe bender and create a gas, well, basically a canister. So once we actually create a canister, then I'm gonna go inside and change my uh, change my uh, waste canister. So, oh, oh boy. All right, so maybe I want to swap these two batteries, good. And that being said, maybe I should shove some coal in the coal generator. Uh, I'll do that later. Okay, anyway, now, at least it's, it's going to be starting to charge soon, so let's cycle to interior. Let's go inside, and inside we have some air. So what I need to do is I will need to, okay, air rushing in, I will need to change my waste canister and refill my air canister. So, yeah, I just need to find correct one, okay. Now let's re refill my air tank, okay, good, that's done. So now we have taken care of that one and then we have, then we need to swap my waste canister for something else. So let me see. I'm going to now swap this guy. Okay, good. And then I'm going to put the waste canister here. I'm not going to throw it away because it's useful CO2. Remember, when you're on moon, you want to use everything. So right now I'm just going to actually take this opportunity to eat something. I need to open the helmet and I need to eat the food and then I need to drink the water so that we basically refill on those and then we will be tackling the steel problem yeah i mean technically i realize later on you don't need steel at this point but uh, since moon is forgiving enough you can take it now or later i mean it's your choice i've just chosen to basically take care of steel right so okay let's go out cycle to exterior the battery is still holding uh, hopefully soon enough we will have daylight all right, maybe I should shove a lump of coal inside and basically forget about it. And by inside, I mean into this, you know, portable generator. That should refill the batteries nicely. All right, yeah, I'm game. Okay, it's filling, yes. And this one is filling, this one is already full. Switch it now, son, and let it continue doing the good work. Good, nice. Okay, so once that's taken care of, let me let me start investigating what do I need to in order to be able to construct a furnace. So right now my arc furnace isn't connected and I just need to connect it briefly to this guy because in the previous episode I have actually swapped um, the solar panel and the generation I've put them on top of this uh, on top of our shelter. I, if you guys missed that, I will be posting the link in the card top right corner at the moment but um, nothing major just move the solar panel from the floor basically to the ceiling of this little guy so kit furnace we need 30 iron and 10 copper meaning i will i have copper and i have the iron good guess uh, but maybe maybe i could just go and mine a little it wouldn't hurt us that we do a little bit of mining for the iron and gold, but uh, we'll see. Okay, now, that being said, let us first, I need to search what do we need for the liquid tank. Liquid canister, I th I'm looking for the liquid tank. Kit liquid tank, there we go. What I need, I need copper and steel. And guys, here I actually made a mistake. I was thinking liquid tank. Well, it's a liquid fixed tank. What I needed is liquid portable tank. That's what I was thinking. So that's why I was, you know, portable liquid tank was the one I was supposed to be building. So that's why I thought I needed steel. And that's why I tackled the steel problem right away. So, I mean, doesn't matter. It's moon, it's forgiving and yeah. Okay, so let's quickly cram in these two and we have the copper we can cram all of those and probably we will have enough now let's see do we have the uh, do we have the furnace let me check oh we need a little bit more iron okay in that case i think we'll need to go mine 
All right, let me go quickly and mine some iron and then we will be back in terms of generating some sweet, sweet furnace, which will help us smelt alloys. And we, once we switch to steel, steel is much more uh, cost effective from the perspective of the production. So if you want to create more iron sheets, iron frame, or sorry, steel sheets, steel frames, yeah, it's simpler. Okay. 20 minutes later, as it says nicely, I've actually gathered enough of the metals and ores and everything. And then I just decided, okay, let's put the, the iron in and make sure that it smelts correctly. Yeah, I wanted to save you guys the nuisance of me, you know, like, just like mining everything and taking the sweet time to do all, it all. So I thought maybe it would be more handy that I just skip the mining part because it's usually boring anyway. So, all right, fair enough. Now, that being said, uh, we need to, yes, we need to smell this iron. Good, spit it out, son. Thank you. And then we were gonna take that iron to the auto lathe. Okay, take the iron, shove it into auto lathe, son, and let us construct the furnace. Yay. I mean, furnace I really like, and uh, it's actually more productive than an arc furnace because it's just quicker. It smelts everything, but uh, for arc furnace you just need electricity, while for furnace you need an actual, you know, volatiles and oxides. And obviously we cannot do that during the daylight, I mean the smelting part, is because uh, if we smelt it during the daylight, uh, our basically volatiles and oxides will evaporate. But if we do it during the night time, we are in the clear. So that's another thing that you need to consider when you're wanting to smelt something. Okay, so once we do that, we are smelting some silicone and we are printing the, uh, we are printing the furnace. It takes a while. It certainly takes its sweet time. So yeah. Okay, so while I'm waiting, I might as well pick up a couple of things from the lander. I'm thinking a water bottle additional would be nice because my water tank is, well, you know, my water bottle is already almost empty. Okay, are you done, son? Um, the silicone smelting is done. Good. That's one thing to... Let's put in some copper. So while we're waiting, we're just smelting some more metals and making some more ingots because they'll help us in the long run. Okay, there we go. Furnace is ready. And of course, let me see. Okay, let's dump here the water bottle. Good. And furnace, we're gonna create a furnace right about here-ish. And for furnace, yeah, there we go. Looks good. Place it. Am I happy with this? Sure I am. Chuck it on, son. Okay, good. That being said, let's put... Uh, uh, now I need my tool belt and I need to assemble it. So I need two iron sheets. Okay, I have iron sheets. Let me just swap to them. And I need a wrench. Okay, wrench and two iron sheets. Good. And now I need welding torch and an additional two iron sheets. Okay, welding torch, two iron sheets. There we go. Ah, that's it. Furnace assembled. Nice. All right. So we will be placing that one. Also, you will notice that in my jetpack, I actually have three stacks of iron and one stack of basically coal, hydrocarbon. And the idea for that is because those it's a uh, steel is mixed in three to one ratio. So three iron and uh, one hydrocarbon, which is basically coal. So that's why, and I'm also now building the output because it will create a lot of gases and I want to make sure that I can vent those out. It goes a little bit against what I've been saying that I want to preserve all of the gases and I will be capturing the gases from the furnace as well. It's just that this time I actually need steel, you know, pronto and I need it done quickly. So that's why I'm currently now making sure that I will just basically vent out steel. Now what I need to, speaking of the venting, I need a passive vent. So I'm going to go and I'm going to print one passive vent. Yeah. Okay. My suit is a little bit low on power. Okay. I get it. Fine. And it's getting dark again. Oh joy. Okay. Let me place this here and let me just print out one passive vent. 
There we go, kit passive vent. Oh, and it requires more iron. Oh, if only I had more iron. All oh, the irony of the things. Okay, let me just chuck the iron here from here. The good thing that uh, actually gives me a lot of peace of mind that there are no storms on moon. I've been really sick of the storms because right now you can just do whatever, leave stuff wherever and you know, it, it doesn't, it stays there. <laughs> That's a good thing. Okay, good. Passive vent. Let's just chuck it down on this side of the crater. Come on, come on. Okay, jetpack it. Crank it here and good. So whenever I open the valve, the exhaust gases will just go outside. Okay, let me just clean it up a little so it's not clogged for any reason. Okay, come on, open it up. And there we go. Now it's cleaned up. Good. So it'll, it will not get clogged. Fine. Okay, swap it, and since it's night time, I think it's an ideal time to actually start smelting. So, let's get into the smelting business, shall we? Right, so swapping to my belt. Okay, what I need to now chunk in, we need to chunk in some uh, volatiles, and you should be mixing two to one ratio. So what I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna split, let's say, six. Um, let's put eight, yeah. So eight volatiles or 10, 10 volatiles and then five oxides. That will give you a lot of pressure and a lot of, you know, everything. So you might as well, okay, I actually need to go in inside and drink the water because it's getting dangerously low. All right, well, we can use that opportunity to eat and drink then, I guess. So let me just quickly open, unlock helmet, open helmet, drink the water. One bottle, put it down with the waste bottles. Okay, there we go. And let's take another bottle and drink stuff from there. Put it back in the jumpsuit. Okay, good. Uh, might as well actually eat some. I mean, we're not consuming that much food, but still, I don't want to be going in and out constantly. Okay, with that thing refilled, we have the power controller, locker, labeler, anything else we need. I don't think so. Okay, fair enough. Let's go outside now, cycle to exterior. As soon as we start making steel, we will be able to produce better solar panels and we, this will produce more electricity for us, which will be highly beneficial. And we can also make some batteries, you know, like big batteries, so power will no longer be a problem. So yeah, steel is highly useful and really important to have. Okay, so. That being said, let me just quickly chunk it down and, okay, continue smelting. Now we have 10 ice volatiles, okay? I want to be putting five oxides. So split one, five times, come on. Split one, one, no, not half. Okay, maybe half of that as well. Come on. Okay, and okay, five, good. So five volatiles, and I cannot put them in because I obviously haven't pressed the activate so it can smelt the uh, volatiles. So, okay, five times. Now, now I can chunk them in and get ready, move away slightly. You never know, I mean, it's furnace after all. You press it onwards and then it starts to heat up. Good, the pressure is going up, the temperature is going up. Beautiful. All right, so we chunk in three Iron, one stack of iron, two stack of iron, and three stack of iron, and then one stack of coal, and that will give us an iron ingot of 200 steel. So, yeah. And what we will do with that steel? Well, we will be talking in the next episode, but uh, hope you like this one. And here is a guide on the top right corner towards my other series.